Hi class. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, here is a t-shirt design for homecoming. How did I make this? Well, I am going to show you the basics of creating a t-shirt for the homecoming assignment. So what you need to do first, after you've downloaded your, your fonts that you want to use, any clip art, anything like that, you want to go to File, New, And our is going to be 11 by 12, 300 resolution. Make sure it's inches, not pixels. That's very important. We're going to press OK. So here you have a blank canvas of white. Now, if you want a white shirt, this is fine. If you want it a different color, you want to fill that in. Over here is my layers. Um, your layers aren't always over there. They could be in different locations. Um, so here is my background. Um, let's say I want to do a blue t-shirt. I'm going to fill that blue. Um, I filled it blue by doing, um, selecting the color here. That's my blue that I wanted. And then I did option delete, which will fill that. If I did command delete, it would fill it white. Now I need to just create some text. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, this menu bar pops up. I obviously do not want it blue. We'll do white. Remember, you can on, on the front, you can only have two colors. On the back, you can have one, or vice versa. If you prefer to have two colors on the back and one color on the front, you can do that as well. Now I have Sketch 3D for my type. Um, I'm going to cap lock that. I'm going to type Go Cadets. All right, now I want that bigger. So I'm going to Command T, which will give me these handlebars and then I will make it larger and hit enter to um, make that permanent. I can still move it around. Okay. Now let's say I want to put a cadet on here. So I'm gonna go up to file and I'm gonna go down to place linked and my cadets are saved in a file called cadets, but I can never remember where that is at. And I'm going to use a ping so I know that the background is um, empty. And I'm going to resize that however I want. Press enter. If I, would, if I want to change that color, it's really simple. I go into here, I go into my FX, and I do a color overlay. Again, I'm in my layers. And now I have blue. I obviously don't want blue. I want white. Press OK. I could also add a stroke to that if I wanted to. Maybe I want my second color to be black, so I'm going to pick black. Um, I'm going to make that on the outside. And I press OK. Now I'm going to type in homecoming 16. And let's say I want that to warp around my cadet here. So I'm going to pick my text tool and I'm going to go up here to warp. Please stay away from the 3D. That doesn't do what you think it does. It will make it so you actually have to delete your layer because it is literally for um, like 3D printers and stuff. So I'm going to go like this and then this dialog box pops up. I'm going to pick arc. Obviously, I don't want it that way, so I am going to mess with the bend. I can make it like that. I can distort it if I want it to. Um, I obviously want it to be able to read it, so I'm not going to do that. I could do this. I like that one better. I'm going to press OK. Minimize that. Now, um, my move tool, which is the top tool, if I have auto select a layer on, now when I click on something, I can move it. Um, that is very helpful sometimes, and sometimes it is not, okay? I need to make this smaller. Pull that in. And now I have Homecoming 16 around an off-centered Howie. If you see I have a ruler up here, um, Command-R gets you your rulers. You can create um, guidelines. 
so I can actually click and drag a guideline in to halfway. So now I know what my center is. If I command T, this handlebar tells me that that's the center of my letters. That's my center of Howie. Although Howie's a little lopsided, so I don't usually use that per se. And then my homecoming here is perfect. So now I know all of that is centered. Again, you can go in if I wanted to on this homecoming and put an outline in. I could fill um, these letters in completely if I wanted to using the fill tool and a new layer. So let's try that. I'm going to um, zoom in on this. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to use the fill tool, which is um, the paint bucket tool, which is under the gradient tool if it's not up. And make sure cap locks is on, because if cap locks isn't on, it's this, and it's a lot more difficult. And that did not work, because all layers was not selected. Make sure all layers are selected. And now it'll work. For this assignment, you're just going to go to File, Save As, and I actually want it saved as a PSD file because I need these layers for when I um, hand it in, or when I have to break down the colors to give to O'Henry's. So I'm going to go up to File, Save As, and I'm going to save it as Front and my name. Um, I have a file on my desktop. That is shirts, homecoming choices right here. I'm going to hit save and press OK. And now I have it saved. And you will hand that into Schoology.